Another Adobe Illustrator quick tip by Fatfly Design. Let's take a look at how to use the scissors tool in Adobe Illustrator. So you need to find the scissors tool over here in your tool panel. Now it's probably hidden behind the eraser tool. And the shortcut to bring up the scissors tool is simply hitting the letter C on your keyboard. Now I want you to look at this circle I have here. It is just a, it's just a circle, it's just a path. And I want you to imagine that this is a rubber band and you have a pair of scissors in your hand. Now you could take those scissors and you could cut the rubber band here and you could cut the rubber band here. Even after you cut it, all the rubber band still exists, it's just in two different parts now. And that's essentially what the scissors tool is doing. We are going to cut the path. So I'm just going to find a place on this path that I want to cut. So I'm going to come over here, put my cursor on top of the path, and I'm going to click once. Now that just made a cut. Visually, you don't see much of a difference. You don't see a gap or anything because those two endpoints are setting directly on top of each other still. We'll get to where we can see it here in just a second. And then I want you to find a second place along this path, and I'm going to cut it there as well. I'm going to go back to my selection tool, and what I have, it looks like the exact same circle. But what I've done, I'm going to select the top part here, and I'm going to move it away, and you can see that I've actually cut that circle in two places. Now I have two separate paths. I can look at it in preview mode or outline mode and see that. Okay, so that's using the scissors tool on a very simple shape. Now let's come to a little more complex shape. I'm going to come up here to this letter A. And I think we would all agree that this letter A, I've converted it to outlines. It's no longer a type object. It is two different paths. And I can use the scissors tool on that as well. Now this path is actually filled with a color. And I have something else and more complex going on here. It is a compound path. And what I mean is there's two or more shapes. Here's shape one, here's shape two, and where they overlap, it is see-through. And that's essentially what a letter A is. Keep in mind that when we convert type objects to outlines, they're also compound paths. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab my scissors tool, and I'm just going to cut here on this path and cut here on this path. And then I'm going to go to my selection tool. Now, I've got a problem. If I just select it with my selection tool, it's going to select everything. The reason is, is because of that compound path. If I want to select only the top portion of this and move it away, I'm going to have to use a different selection technique. I'm going to go to my group select tool, which allows me to select single pieces within groups. So I can click on the top and I can move it away. Now, because this is filled with a color, Illustrator automatically closes that off with its fill. But it is not a path there. If I look at it in outline mode, you can see that it is an open path and this is an open path. Sort of going beyond the scissors tool right now, but because this is a compound path, it's still sort of grouped together. If I want these to behave as separate objects, I'm going to have to go to Object, Compound Path, Release. Now I have to do one other thing. I have to go to Object, Ungroup. And then I can use these as three separate pieces. Because that was a type object and it was a compound path, once it was converted to outlines, it just become a little more complex. What do I have down here? Got something even more complex. This was a Dingbat font, so it was a typeface. I've created outlines, and that tells you also that it must be a compound path. So I can use the scissors on this. I'm going to come over here, and quite often when I use the scissors tool, I like to work in outline mode so I can see the actual path that I'm clicking on. Now I have the scissors tool. I'm going to cut here, and I'm going to cut here. And in this case, I just simply want to select this part that I've cut and delete it. So I'm going to go to my direct select tool. I'm going to click on a path here, and I've got to hit delete once and twice, and now I've gotten rid of that part of the path. Now I could come back with my pen tool. Maybe I want to redraw the opening of this mouth. And I've got what I want here. Go back to preview mode, and we can see what we have. 
So the scissors tool is a really handy tool if you need to start cutting your paths and then editing them in some way past. Thanks that. for watching this Illustrator quick tip. I hope it was helpful. If you like what you saw, please hit like and subscribe below. And if you get a chance, visit my website at fatflydesign.com.